The secret to what is happening to you and your body could actually be revealed just by looking at your tongue. Hmm. Licensed acupuncturist Danube Jacobs with Jade Star Acupuncture and Wellness is here to tell us about Chinese medicine tongue diagnosis, something many people I'm sure are not familiar with. It's always uh, good to have you here. Great to be here, thanks. So when you look at people's tongues, what specifically are you looking for? Well, we look at the shape of the tongue, the color of the tongue. Um, we look for any cracks or dots or red marks or the tongue coat we look at. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute, but do ours vary that much? I mean, are tongues pretty much similar as a whole? Yeah, actually there's subtle differences. So again, by some people's tongues might be a different color or more <coughs> red or more pale or more scallop marks around the edges or. So because they're all so different, is there such a thing as what an ideal tongue looks like, what it should look like? Yeah, an ideal tongue would be a nice pink color and like either a, a, just a glossy coat or no coat or okay. very, very thin white coat. So what kind of things can you detect by looking at somebody's tongue? We can detect if the body has too much heat in the body or um, not enough <coughs> heat. We can also find out if their digestion <coughs> isn't that great by how much tongue coat that they have on their tongue. If we look under the tongue, we'll look at the sublingual veins and if they're engorged, so if they're very um, purple, mm. then that will tell us that things aren't moving in the body like it should, like blood circulation and chi movement. Yeah, well, and some of us, myself included, like to scrape my tongue. <gasps> don't and do I do that. it habitually. But well, you can do it, so but do just, just don't yeah. do it right before your acupuncture treatment okay. because that's really like erasing results. some really good evidence. Mm -hmm. So we can tell a lot by the tongue coat. If it's really thick, mm -hmm. that's telling us that there's um, poor digestion, so the spleen organ system is in charge of that that part, and so it's just telling us it's not functioning as well as it should. So just don't scrape it right before your acupuncture treatment. Okay, <laughs> and then and you have a chart, and I'm dying to see what it has oh, to say yes. because I see like on the left hand side it's like your oh. liver and <coughs> yes. you know. So to walk us through this, <coughs> okay, so your heart so is at the very back. The heart is at the tip of the tongue. Oh, it's at the tip yep. of your tongue. And right okay. above that are the lungs, and in the very back are the urinary or the kidney bladder organ system. And on the sides is liver gallbladder or the wood mm -hmm. element organ system. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has uh, red dots on the sides of their tongue, that will tell us, if you look up above, the liver organ systems, the emotions, anger, resentment, it could be, they could be irritable or angry about something, and it's building up over time and creating heat, which is leaving little dots on their tongue. If the tip of the tongue is more red than the rest of the tongue, um, usually they're having more mental agitation because the mind falls under the heart organ system. Mm -hmm. So usually they're just more either irritated or just have more agitation. So how does this serve as a guide for when you actually go do acupuncture? It tells you where exactly the, their energy levels need to be uh, yeah, adjusted? Yeah, so the, the tongue is one of the three ways we diagnose somebody. Mm. So we ask a lot of questions, we take their pulses, which is a little different from Western medicine, and then we look at their tongue. So those three systems give us a good, we hone in how they're Mm -hmm. doing and where their imbalances are. So once you have that diagnosis, do you say, okay, this is how much acupuncture you may need or you know, <coughs> color therapy that you may need? Yeah, so it'll tell us how severe someone's imbalance is and how, maybe how not severe and mm -hmm. how, how much we would treat them and how long it would take. And how about teeth marks? Say somebody has yes. those marks. I know I might have had them in the past, but yeah. what does that mean? So teeth marks are ridges on the sides of the tongue. So if you stick your tongue out and there are these ridges on the sides, that's telling us that the digestive system could be better. So the spleen organ system is in charge of transforming and transporting. And when it's not doing that as well, it retains damp and it will show up on the tongue as a tongue being really puffy. Mm. So uh -huh. if the tongue's really puffy, it's going to not have enough room in there, so it's gonna push against the sides of the teeth and leave marks. So basically, our life pattern is happening right <laughs> inside of our tongue. mouths. Yes. In pregnancy, can you tell if somebody is pregnant by looking at their tongue? Actually, that's a little tricky. You can't okay. really tell from looking at the tongue so much as taking the pulse, but you can tell from taking the pulse if someone's pregnant or mm -hmm. not. Well, this is an ongoing thing, right? I mean, you kind of have to uh, do several treatments to get the benefit from it, right? It's not just one and done. So talk about sort of yeah. the program that say, you look at their tongue, mm -hmm. you see that there are certain issues. How long does it look uh, for that person to have right. their treatments? So the tongue will change over time, mm -hmm. but unlike the pulse, the pulse will change moment to moment. It'll, it'll be different at the end of an acupuncture treatment. Wow. The tongue will take a little bit longer to change. So someone could be having changes, improvements in their digestion or sleep, but it won't show up on the tongue maybe for weeks or even months um, to see a change. 
Okay. The tongue cho the tongue coat will change quickly. Quickly. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's good. We're all going to run back to our offices and right check now out and check our, our tongues yeah. out. And you know, here we are looking at the Jade Star Acupuncture and Wellness Office. It really is so relaxing when you walk in there. The moment mm -hmm. you go there, you're you're greeted. It smells really nice, and I don't know what it is. Incense. I don't know. It, it smells delicious though. Essentially. And and they, you know, you get taken back, and you really just feel so relaxed once mm -hmm. you leave. It's such good. a difference from when you walk in. So it's amazing to learn how much our tongue can tell us and as always it's nice to have you here yeah great to nice be here to good Thanks. to see you and right now jade star acupuncture is offering a 99 dollar new patient special which is normally 120 dollars, and that includes a 90 minute appointment for more information just head over to jadestaracupuncture.com or you can call them at 520-881-0827